Upperclassmen say there was once a dark time when studying for Purdue math was hard. They say that no one knew their personal statistics and that all their studying was done with archaic documents called PDFs. These PDFs couldn't tell you what percentage of students chose A for question 14 or give you a video explanation if you got the question wrong. All features we take for granted today. How these students survived, we'll never know. Then came the age of the videos. Older students say this was a time of great enlightenment, but something was missing. Sure, students could get an explanation for any question in seconds, but that can't be it, right? This is good, they thought, but there must be something better on the way. On September 14th, 2020, a new sun rose in the east. It was called boiler exams, and it completely changed how we've studied for math ever since. Let me show you around. Today we're going to be going over the project me and another developer put a ridiculous amount of time into over the past few months. This is BoilerExams.com, a website built to completely revolutionize how you study for math exams. Okay, that's enough chit-chat. Let's actually get studying. So we have a question loaded up for MA266 here. Note that this site supports MA261 through MA303 and will be adding MA262, 165, and even CS159 later in the semester. So we have an Euler's, Euler's method question. Let's answer it. And we can see the percentage of all users who chose all of these answer choices. You can report the question if you need to, and then the video is embedded down here, uh, directly linking to the explanation to this question so that you can, uh, you, know, you can get that explanation if you need it. Let's go look at another question. Another Euler's method question. See, we're selecting questions by topic right now, although you can select questions by semester, and question number. Oh, we just happened to get another Euler's method one. There we go. You'll notice we have this topic mastery bar up here. This shows us the percentage of all questions from that topic that you haven't seen yet, that you've gotten wrong, and that you've gotten uh, right. So right now we're answering a question from the not tried section. And if we get this one, I believe the answer is C. Yep. If we get that one right, you'll notice it's moved into the percent correct uh, section. I want to study another question from uh, inverse Laplace transforms that I haven't seen yet, so I'll just click on that section of the bar, and look, we've got another one here. Uh, I think this guy is, nope, not the answer. Well then, let's show the video. Oh look, there's our video. Great. So that is the study mode in a nutshell. Let's go take a look at the learn and videos pages, which are all pretty similar. So if we wanted uh, all the questions for La inverse Laplace transforms, and we also wanted to be able to follow along with the PDF that I'm solving in the video, you can go to the Learn page. For the videos page, it's just a wrapper for the spreadsheets. You can, uh, yeah, grab, grab these videos and even study similar questions so we can get put directly into the existence and uniqueness theorem section if that's what we wanted to work on. Second to last, we have the timed exam page. Uh, one of the issues with 265 and 266 is that they don't have uh, midterms that are published. So we have the ability to kind of create fake midterms. If we wanted to study the 2018 fall final for MA266, we could select the exam one preset and it will only give us the questions that are relevant for exam one. We'll give ourselves an hour for that and start the exam. I'll answer a couple questions here and then we will, uh, we will submit and take a look at the review mode. So it shows us all the percentages and gives us the embedded videos for all of these questions. There we go. So that's uh, exciting if you're into full exams like that. Now let's go to the home page and take a look at our stats. So you, you can see that we've got pretty comprehensive stats for both uh, your personal use and to compare yourself with the rest of your class. Additionally, we give you information on the best topics uh, as far as the questions that you've answered so far, and your worst topic. So if you join the site uh, and you open it up and you're like, oh, I, I would like to study some Laplace initial value problems, you can just click that study button and it'll put you right into the topic selection mode for study and you have a Laplace initial value problem. So that's the site. If you'd like to help out with this project, send me an email at boilerexams at gmail.com. I'd also like to make clear that I am not the only person who worked on this site. 
Most of the front-end development was done by Alex Rogers, and I'd also like to thank Mary and Shiv for giving lots of great feedback in the early stages of the site and helping uh, turn it into what you see today. So I hope the site's helpful for you the next time you're studying for a math exam or you're not sure what just happened in lecture. And uh, boiler up. <laughs>